well hello fellow marketers and if you are thinking about making a career in one single shot in the realm of digital marketing then trust me it's all about mastering the science of search campaigns and the reason why search campaign is having such a significance is because launching or learning search campaign means you will be able to launch your ads on the biggest search engine in the world you will be able to manage the top notch ad accounts of service based businesses like real estate education salon restaurant and many more in fact you will be able to manage more than 50% of the ad accounts which runs over search campaign so be becoming a ppc executive means all you have to do is to learn all of these search campaigns so now if you can allow me next 10 minutes of your life in the learning of digital marketing i'm going to help you to learn search campaign just in five different campaign creation process part and trust me it's not as difficult as learning a rubik's cube all you have to do is to start with learning the campaign structure and the campaign budget which is point number 1 learning the target location which is point number 2 knowing how do you launch your keywords in different match types how do you create a text ad for headline and description using chat gpt and finally how do we provide the bidding strategy for a search campaign that's it having an understanding of all these five point means now we can simply make a search campaign so if you are with me until now in this video i can quickly jump into making up a search campaign but before you do so let's talk about this campaign structure and the budget part now in this google ads training sheet we have already talked about the project planning then keyword planning and research in which we have pulled out the keywords and meter planning in this video a module of search campaign we are quickly jumping into the campaign structure part now any advertisement ad account is going to have the campaign on the top ad groups just below the campaign and the keywords so for a search campaign all we need is to have one or multiple ad groups now it's totally fine if you want to have one single ad group you can make one generic ad groups but it's always better to bifurcate your campaign into different groups depending on the theme like for this website which we have taken in this project springtails.shop this is a artificial based jewelry store we are having different kind of products starting with jewelry as in diamond drop no spin and depending on these products we have bifurcated the campaign in different themes now every group or every theme is going to have the keywords relevant to that particular group and that's it that defines our campaign structure once our campaign structure is set we have to decide the daily budget and target location now in the media planning sheet we have decided that the daily budget for a search campaign is going to be around 6000 rupees for a month which means we are talking about a budget of 200 rupees a day and the target location was decided in the project planning sheet which we have created in this previous in the previous videos of this course and we have talked about taking delhi and ncr as the target location so now we have the campaign structure we have budget we have target location we have to add keywords in the phrase match because majority of the times phrase match is making the relevance with your search terms then we simply have to create a text ad for headlines and descriptions using chat gpt for which i can quickly come into chat gpt and type a query which is like create a google responsive search ad for artificial jewelry that's it i click on enter and entering over here is going to pull up the headlines and description which we can use for the creation of the ad copy i think i already have a text ad sheet available over here which is having the headlines and descriptions for the generic group at least and then we have to simply start using the bidding strategy so i hope you have already collaborated all of these five points to make the campaign now let's quickly jump into the google ad account so in the last video we have already created the google ad account for spring tales for this particular project and now we can simply come into this page and click on new campaign clicking on new campaign will allow us to choose any of the campaign objectives which could be sales in our case and then we can go with continue button which ask us to 
choose the search campaign or choose any campaign in this Google ad account. So we simply go with search campaign by clicking the search over here and go with website visit. Now this website visit is going to ask us to put the website link. In our case, this is our website link. So you simply paste it over here and then click on continue. The campaign name could be something like project name. So I have a different way of nomenclating my campaigns. I always put the project name underscore the campaign name or the campaign type. So I'm going to put it like a spring tails underscore uh, search campaign, search campaign. And then I simply click on continue. The next thing is going to start with a complete campaign is to choose the bidding strategy. So we have multiple ways and multiple bidding strategies. I'm going to go with clicks and choosing a maximum cost per click amount. Now the question is how much is the bidding limit that we have to decide in the search campaign. So again, if I take you to the media planning sheet, which is the sheet eight of this uh, Google ads project planning sheet, uh, we have decided a bidding amount of or bidding limit of 10 rupees, which we had decided in the media planning sheet. So I'm going to simply add this 10 rupee in my search campaign bid limit. Having this 10 rupee means we don't want to charge, we don't want to pay Google more than 10 as the amount of getting a click on the ad copy. This is our CPC amount. Then we simply click on next. We disable the option of showing the ads on display network. We just want to show the ads on search network and maybe we can include search partners. Including the search partner means our ads can also show on the search partner sites like AOL or any Google search partner website. Then we can choose location, which is going to be Delhi in our case. Then we simply go with next. And now it asks for the most important part of this course, which is adding the keywords. So I'm going to name it this group as generic G N E R I C. And then I'm going to add, okay, I'll help. I'll create the ad myself. Okay. Now after this AI publishing, we also have an option to create the ad using AI. So I can simply click on help create my ad and clicking on this means the Google AI can create an ad copy for me. Okay. Now I don't know why it's not working. Maybe it's in beta right now. Okay. It has worked, I guess. Okay. And I guess Google has Okay, so Google is trying to generate an ad copy by itself. Otherwise, if Google does not help, you can also take the help of ChatGPT. But if Google is already has already integrated AI, you don't have to get into ChatGPT at all. So now Google has already created the ad copies for you. Wow, that's amazing. But normally you don't have to get the ad copies developed by AI because most of the time you want to show the text of the ad copy as per your own requirements. So all you have to do is to create it text ad sheet, a sheet which looks something like this, having the headlines, we can have up to eight headlines, having the descriptions, and every headline and description is going to have a character limit of 30 over headline and 90 over description. Now, getting back over here means we simply have to add the keywords. And the question is, how do we pull out the keywords? So we did this keyword planning in the previous videos after which we had created keywords for all different ad groups. So now we're going to simply use keywords for generic group, clicking it over here and pasting it in this box is going to add all the keywords for the generic group, which will later convert into the phrase match keywords. The reason why we do phrase match is because phrase match shows the ads to the relevant queries. Broad match shows the keywords or shows the ads to people who are typing anything in relevance to this uh, keyword. Even if it's a broad match query, even if somebody types just jewelry or gold jewelry, then your ads can be shown if you keep your keywords in the broad match. So that's why it's always recommended from my end to go with the phrase matches keyword. Now we simply have to click on next so we can save our keyword and the ad copy. We simply have to decide the daily budget, which is somewhere around 200 rupees, which we can pull from our media planning sheet, which is the sheet number eight. So here we can see we have a daily budget of 200 rupees because 6,000 is the monthly budget.
And now I can simply click on this next. And that's it, the campaign is about to publish. And I, th I think it's, it has not even taken 10 minutes to publish the campaign. So as I told you, if you have all the things ready, things like campaign structure and the daily budget, target location, keywords and the match types, the text ad and the bidding strategy, it takes minutes to launch your search campaign and it takes maybe a couple of more minutes to become a PBS executive. So I guess our campaign is published now. That's it. You can go back into this Google Ad account. People who can have the access of this account can really get into the Google Ad account and they can simply go through this search campaign. Now, normally the search can is going to have campaign is going to have the options like cost clicks conversion rate conversions but all these options all this data is going to be updated once the campaign is, will start performing once the campaign will start showing the ads to people on google now before you go off this video and if you're not already tired and feeling sleepy i have seven points for you in which i can tell you how do you complete this process of learning search campaign first of all i want you to do this three project-based exercises. Now I'll share the video link or the link of this sheet somewhere in the description. But all you have to do is to at least do these three exercises. Now these three exercises are for three different projects. One is for making a campaign for springtails.shop, the project that we have already talked about. So you have to make a search campaign by yourself with one single ad group for Delhi with 500 rupees of daily budget using maximize click bidding strategy. And trust me, if you won't do the project exercises, there's no point in learning digital marketing. In fact, people in the market these days are not caring about if you know how to launch such campaigns. They want people who can work on the project. So it's really important for you to practically launch the campaigns using some projects in Google, right? After this exercise one, you can get into exercise two, which is all about creating a search campaign with three ad groups with thousand rupees of daily budget targeting India with manual CPC bidding strategy. And this is something which you do for this project in the cell. In the third one, you do this third exercise by making a search campaign, including the display partners as well. Display partner option is something which you get while making a search campaign using 200 rupees of daily budget and the bidding strategy of target CPA. Now, after having all these three project means, you will be able to know the science and the logics of making search campaign for three different projects at least. And then I'll be using or I'll be adding the Google ad job interview questionnaire over here. This interview question is going to look something like this, which is going to have the questions regarding the search campaign answering all these questions is going to give you a score so you can know what type of questions are getting asked in the interviews. Now, okay, so you fill in the interview questionnaire, that's it. You go through the digital marketing terms and the salaries. Now, it's really important that you go through the digital marketing terms and salary sheet. This term sheet is going to help you to understand what impression means, what click means, PPC. CTR, conversion rate, conversions. If you don't know these terms, trust me, you won't be able to understand the parameters of search campaigns. Additionally, you also learn points like keyword, key performance indicators, call to actions, target audience, bounce rate, cost per million impressions. But at least you cover all these points in the blue color. Post to that, I want you to go through the salary sheet. Now, the reason why I'm saying or asking you to go through salary sheet is because you should be having the right expectation from learning digital marketing or learning this video at least. So let's say you want to become a PPC executive. You should know that in the first year or in the beginning of your career, you shall be getting a salary of somewhere in between eight to 15,000 rupees. In one to two years, you can expect somewhere around 25 to 30. So if your expectation is very, very high, if someone has told you that you can easily earn around one lakh rupees in, in an year after completing a digital marketing course, then you shall not be watching this video. You shall not be learning digital marketing. I don't think it's it's easy to earn this much amount in India at least. So I want you to go through all these profiles and the job options and the salaries which you expect in each of the profile. So you will be having the right set of expectation for you. Then I want you to complete the digital marketing planning modules. So in the digital marketing 
or in the Google ad sheet, we have covered the three modules of digital marketing planning, which is started with project planning. How do you plan a project? And planning the project is very important for digital marketers. Then how do you do keyword research and planning for any project? And finally, how do you create a media plan? Also that I wanted to start doing the Google ad certifications, which are available in sheet number four and get into sheet number two to find out how do you get a project job or an internship in digital marketing. This is something which is available in sheet number. So you have to go through this sheet as well. And finally, if you have any questions for me, what you can do, you can simply comment on this video or you can reach me over LinkedIn by typing my name if you have any doubts about digital marketing. I hope I will see you in the next video of this course.